This is really good because if he doesn't shamrock it, this it's just gonna be going crazy. It's so much damage being a six five here. This was, by the way, that was turn three. Just saying. Almost that turn three. Oh my god, Lee. <laughs> he didn't have an answer. He's like, I'm not taking six damage every turn because you decided to be your Giganticus. It's not happening, guys. Making content for you guys is a full time job and it's only possible with your support. Click the link in the description to join my Patreon for access to exclusive streams, deep fry podcasts, private video calls, and more. What's going on, everybody? This is Fry. So today we are trying an all out conjure deck with huge, with huge Giganticus. I haven't done luck score in a long time, and the Twitch chat voted for luck score rather than betting. So we're not going to have bets today for wins and losses. Instead, we're going to kick back, not care about wins and losses, have as much fun as possible with this conjure deck. Of course, the deck revolves around. Uh, space time, which is going to make all your cards contra cost one less. Uh, but you also have buried treasure that can make your let give you legendaries that cost less running imposter, uh, which is a card that conjures another card when it dies. You also have the uh, duck stash, which we're just running for its conjure value. You could play this on top of the imposter or on the mustache that the imposter conjures, or I guess on the mustache that the frosty mustache conjures. But other than that, it's a 3 2 that will conjure you more cards. The idea of winning with this type of deck is that you have so many cards more than your opponent that they just, you end up just outvaluing them in the late game. You end up with all your lanes clogged so they can't do damage to you. Uh, and you spam, spam, spam until you win and hopefully we'll end up conjuring something that can act as a win condition, some big frenzy or strike through minion and we have teleports. And for that purpose, we also, in case we just get something big, uh, that doesn't have strike through. We have some laser base alphas to uh, make something go face. We're also running some leaps uh, and some mad chemist. The mad chemist will keep on conjuring a new card every single turn. We've had success with this. We do have enough tricks in order to justify it. We're also running some barrel of barrels. Uh, not only can make something deadly and give you a good trade, but it'll also conjure you another barrel, which very often is a trick. So you can use that again with the mad chemist hope you guys enjoy running some thinking caps for extra tricks too so if you thinking cap will get free tricks those will be the first trick to get your chemist going and yep we're not doing bets today it's luck score guys um let's say though that we are we'll play uh we'll play until i until i say we're done you know what wait this is a chill stream we're gonna, the only thing that's not chill is we're gonna try to get as many highlights as possible. The only non-chill thing happening here. Uh, I do like these buried treasures early, so let's go. Time to kick back, relax, and we'll have some fun PvZ heroes, and maybe we'll get a lot of highlights for the highlight comp. It's a win-win-win situation. Uh, secretly in the back of my head, I'll reveal this, is that I really am sort of looking for a competitive deck with space time. Not that you have a competitive deck and you just happen to run space time because it's a decent two drop. Like, I want to just, like, is there a way of having a conjure deck be com competitive without, like, without it being, I don't know, without it being too luck reliant? Is that a contradiction? I don't think so. I think we're good to go. Uh, I did play into Twin Sunflower there, unfortunately. Thank you, Tryhard, for six D months. Six zero. Bruh. You are six zero. Thank you so much. Oh, we got our trickster. That's all we need. That's all we need to win. We got Thinking Cap Trickster. <laughs> Here's Viking. Guys, this just all of a sudden turned into good old Professor Pay to win. <laughs> what is going to happen this turn now? Opponent has five. Probably playing something in front of the Twin Sunflower. Uh, if the space time doesn't die here, which it does. The thinking cap would have been cool, but oh well. These both cost two less because of space time and buried treasure. What is the play here? Like this and Frosty, I guess? Can't really play the thinking cap because we can't play the trick sister. Laser base doesn't conjure. Uh, you know, I wanted laser base just. I sort of want a way for us to be able to use our late game cards in an effective way. The ones that we conjure. We conjured two already. And laser base does exactly. It makes space time able to conjure. And duck stash. Duck stash 
conjures two cards because it conjures also one for the plant that it hits. So definitely has conjure synergy, guys. Leap doesn't technically conjure anything either, but I don't see anyone complaining about Leap. Yeah, you want to see Freeze? <laughs> I'll show you Freeze. Okay, a little coffee. <laughs> we need something to activate this Viking, or maybe we just need to thinking cap already, you know? Just thinking cap. All right, let's go. Guys, we can play Viking, which has a mustache, and then play this on top of the Viking. That's a stupid idea. It's so stupid. Maybe we'll get Smash Super from our uh, thinking cap. That would be awesome. Why do I feel like my hair is not straight today? There. It's much better. Maybe it's the camera angle. How do you know? There. Because my game was overlapping too much with the border up on my screen. It's all crazy thing. All right, we're getting our trickster going, which is nice. Oh my gosh, we actually got it. Are you freaking kidding me? Wait, so which one do we take out? Which one of these is more dangerous? The heels? Oh, that's tough. But we got the... <laughs> we got the big boy. Which one of these do we take out? Allosaurus is healing. I think the superpowers are going to be more annoying. And the ground-based Allosaurus is actually technically we can deal with it maybe next turn. So that's what we're going with now. Gosh. All right, well, <laughs> six points of luck just for that. Are you kidding me, man? We called it. We called it. This trickster is going to be our finisher. How do we do this now? Just trying to make a good trade. <laughs> it doesn't, it's just going to get go to what did the opponent, oh, superpower did the opponent use so far? All right, let's try to debate. <laughs> Here's our priorities, guys. Let's try to debate the goat and the mog. The opponent used freeze, I think. So we're literally trying to debate the goat. I'll, instead of playing both of these, I'll play like the Neptune Super. Yeah? The goat and the mog onto this car. There's the mog. Wait, what did the opponent freeze this with? Was it an iceberg lettuce? Now I'm really confused because the opponent has not blocked yet. The heck is this? The problem is they'll still go to fi. Uh, I was wishing <laughs> this is always gonna die, but <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Everyone says burb in the chat. Burb is the word. So this is like they get weed whacked, go to fied. Okay. Now there's no superpower, at least. Are we going for some kind of, like, coffee play now? This witch hazel is super annoying. We don't have an answer to it. Should I go for coffee? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. Coffee play? Do we do these? All right, let's make a good trade, a good trade, and whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here. There's just too many. He needs too many answers, I guess. It's just normal iceberg lettuce. Huh? Yes! Wow, that was really best case scenario, man. Because Witch Hazel is a flower, so this will die, but we're still conjuring a bunch of cards. And then we kill the Allosaurus kind of for free here, which is awesome. Ooh, Electrician is a card. Let's go. All right, so the play is definitely... Well, it's going to be Trickster here, and then Electrician. Electrician could very likely uh, either take out the Briar Rose or clear these lanes of a non-flower. It's a good, uh, good trickster, though. See, like, if he plays flowers here, then we'll just bonus attack and kill this one. Or we'll just bonus attack lane four. I think that's what's up. Yes, he blocked this, so it's guaranteed lethal. Uh, oh no, Electrician dies! No! <laughs> no! 
<laughs> Bro! Okay, great. So this is a freeze deck after all. But where the heck did all these freeze cards come from? I did not see that one coming. Oh, uh, okay. Well, at least this is dead. Briar Rose is very much alive. And I don't like it. Now what? Well, the opponent doesn't really have cards anymore. So go four. Uh, how do we do this? I could just go coffee and one. No, well, we need to kill this is our priority. Let's let the three hit us. Let's kill this one. And we'll play coffee. There we go. So it goes up to four attack. And he probably, with two cards, will not have an answer to this. Usually. That's fun. We win that trade. Don't have little buddy, bro. Last card being low. Oh my gosh, I spring lettuce. <laughs> That's so huge. This guy's using Iceberg Lettuce so effectively. I mean, we don't really have the removal cards, unfortunately. Oh, we have Barrel Barrels, but that doesn't really help here. All right, well, this is gonna come down the stretch. At least the Power Flower is dying and not, like, healing here. We have an Imp, an Imposter, a Leap, and a Dream. <laughs> not going well. I don't know, player on Shrinking Violet being his last card? We're gonna outvalue him with these imposters eventually. I'll probably leap lane four just to like... Dude! <laughs> well, I'll do it anyway because we need an extra card next turn and getting this up to two damage would be really good. Ah, uh -huh, we have imp synergy! <gasps> oh, that's good! That's very good. Alright, it's another card too. It's just free cards. Very treader. Oh, ho, ho, ho. we got to conjure our way to victory against Toxic Rose. What was this? What was this Rose? This is the real question. Unfortunately, we only got a one attack imp, so we're not able to kill this. There's the two attack. There you go. So the last powers are freeze, proper freeze, and go to five. Mog and Weedwag were used. All right. So let's um. Let's kill Briar. Should we just go face, though? Should I just be going face with all this? No, we have to use the buried treasure, right? It's probably not going to have... No. I mean, the Briar Rose is what he needs to get back in the game. Screw it. We're going after the Briar Rose. Don't be stupid, Fry. There we go. There's this. Should I commit the imp? I'll commit the imp. Why not? And let's hope he just doesn't get a flower to kill this for free. But even if this kills something, there's this freeze. Hey, <laughs> I'll show you freeze. I'll show you freeze. I mean, this will at least draw us another card. We're in like a card advantage situation, which a contra deck is probably the best thing for this scenario. Uh, freezing this gives us an extra card next turn, but that's kind of all it does. Briar Rose is dying. Should I spend this to try to get another card? Well, there's no point in freezing either of these, though. I'm gonna go with my gut, which is the freeze will help the frenzy actually hit face next turn in case he gets something with like four attack. So we'll have a card, a freeze, and this four. <laughs> yeah! Thank you so much, Leprechaun. Yeah, yeah! We got pot! Oh my gosh, that's so luck! <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> 13 points of luck. A lucky amount of luck, you guys. Bruh. Yes! Hallelujah! Oh, that was fun. <laughs> Space time, I understand the thing with space time. I understand its value as a competitive card in itself. And maybe you're right. Maybe you just throw it into, a, you know, a deck. I just don't know what... I, I, I think there's just something more where you can actually synergize it with a deck. Something. If it's aggro, 
It only does one damage per two. I don't think it's aggro. Mm, scaling dangerous threats would be more tempo, in my opinion, than aggro. Because aggro would be more you're just trying to finish the game as fast as possible. This is a like good hand. Especially if we get HG Super. So how do we play this? I don't like playing the buried treasure on one because it just gets answered. I think we're going to play this super slow. Hey Fry, love you man. You always make my day whenever you post. Thank you so girl. much. This is my first stream. May God keep you safe, my friend, and keep up the good work. Amen. Thank you, Victoria Mamacita. It's <laughs> a nice name. Mamacita. Yes. Thank you so much for your donation and your kind words. All right, now we space time. I hope you guys are under are appreciating what I'm what I'm what I'm talking about when I say like, oh, you should have hold a floor at first in case you get something better than a one two here, right? Gotta watch out for the Gatling. If you're running Stingbean and Clickbee, there's, there's Gatlings are coming. Gatlings. Um, he doesn't have Rumble, so I'm gonna say. Oh, this isn't even a good trade. Let's do it here. Force him to play something a little stronger, and then a two-two into this. And if he has a click bee, he's really probably gonna trade it anyway. You know, there's the spike weed, which also we're playing around spike weed by doing that. Uh, so the spike weed's not really doing a whole lot because we're able to cover this next turn. So this will be a mustache. This is the combo I really like. Duck stash space time, because that costs zero now. That's nice. And so now we can commit the buried treasure like. At very little cost here. This imposter into this is a good ooh, ooh. See, I really would like to think and get. Let, let's go for the. Let, let's go for the environment. He'll, he'll assume this is dying, and we're we are capitalizing on the buried treasure already, which is good. On the imposter, which is good. King. You know, there is a a, a, a a world where he doesn't try to hit the space time because he figures it's dying in the spike weed sector. We play this card. All right, well, we're doing it anyway. And then we get a knight and leap it, but king with a leap in hand is something, there's nothing to gawk at. We're also getting a zero cost dude here. See this, oh my gosh, it's amphibious? <gasps> that couldn't be better. Oh no, wait, it's getting hunted. We get another card? Wait! <laughs> uh, maybe we'll just spend our teleport here? And hopefully we can get something to drag this corn dog over. We also need the king to survive. Plant food. Ah, uh, so king doesn't live anyway. So what is the play? I mean, we could get, like, Rock Wall from this to make the king survive. Or any removal card, really, even just a lightning bolt. It'll make the king, you know, live and live and tell the tale. Anything that gives us help, like Rock Wall, would be nice. Okay. <laughs> this is not what we needed this turn because there's an explosion happening, but we will definitely hit it with double infinity clones. <laughs> Imagine not being infinity and playing five infinity clones in the same game. We have card advantage. Look how good this is. All right, Chemist is going here. Infinity Clone, away! There's also just Barrel of Barrels if he puts a, you know, a good trade. It puts a 4-4 four, four or something in lane three. There's that. Uh... This is a lot of damage leaving on the table, though, if we don't do the Infinity Clones right now. We can always barrel this later. I, I'm gonna go with the uh, I'm gonna go with the toxicity here. <laughs> with the the barrel play. Let's see what we get from the chemist. This <laughs> guy's not gonna be happy. <laughs> get wrecked! That's the greatest thing I've ever seen, guys. We're up to 21. Just for that. 
Uh, well, we have leaves and stuff. Oh no. The heal is real. What do we do here? Beam me up. Do we leap something? I'm not feeling this leap right now. My gut says teleport and try to get like something here, but I feel like teleport's going to be necessary to hold on to that. You know what? Let's just do the patient play. This is fine. I don't think we do anything at this point. In fact, maybe I should have even not been me up. Yeah, we'll block next turn. It'll be just as good. Now the rumble is not quite as bad. Through that. So I'm going to play this here. We might see a plan food, but I'll teleport something in Deadly then if he does that. Is HG an imp? I didn't realize he's a... Is he an imp? Can't like click on him and see if he's an imp superhero. I don't think he is. I think he just has a big head. <laughs> he has a big old head. We have Deadly Deadly here. Dude, could you not? Can I plant food now? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Do we start leaping this one? My gut says start leaping this one. Try to get it to five health. That works. Okay, here we go. Now it's happening, guys. See, we can deadly this now. And we're gonna end up getting a knight here and leaping the knight. Can we get one more leap? <laughs> We're gonna proc the block. <laughs> I think we're okay here. Is this our second king this game? What is happening? Oh, we get a free teleport. I'll take teleports. I like teleports. Okay. Night in the water. That's nice. That night. Teleport. So I guess we're protected first. And then we leap. I don't know where. We'll make the crappy plank walker minion proc the block here. No! That's such a good grave buster. It took out a six drop. It's fine. We get an extra minion for plank walker. That's also fine. That's also fine. That's also fine. <laughs> He has no cards left in his hand. We have plenty of cards. We've got cards for years. Come on, Plank Walker. No. All right. We're taking four damage. It's okay. Uh, should I burn these teleports because we have three of them? How about yes? Oh, my gosh. It's Oh, my gosh. It's Zombot. I don't know how this happened, guys. I don't know how this happened. I'm not sure. I mean, unless he has... A, like a sham top deck sham rocket. Oh no, don't get time to shine. Don't get time to shine. No. No, don't. Please, no. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm playing around plant food. We're putting that right there. What you got, bro? We need a leap and we got one. We need him not to have top deck sham rocket just now. What is superpower? Rumble, maybe. I thought it was Rumble and he was holding it for. <laughs> Bye! Have a nice time! See ya! Guaranteed lethal! And you know that I'm toxic. <laughs> Guys, it's the best Zombie deck ever. And 30 points of luck. <laughs> uh, 
my gosh. I actually sincerely thought he was going to get time to shine. I was already mourning. I was already mourning the loss, guys. I think we're 3-0 right now, by the way. All right. Heck yeah. More luck? Fine. We're 36 points of luck. Just for Zombot. How did we get there? See, this, this deck... <laughs> This is not Nightcap main. This is just Nightcap. This is a different guy, not the sniper. Okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for the teleports here. It makes us get punished less by the Twin Sunflower play, you know? Bruh. <laughs> I was thinking of running Bad Moon Rising in this deck, but I don't know, man. We could run instead of Frosty Mustache. I sort of just wanted all the cards to be cheap, though. Oh, that's annoying. So we go with this. this? You guys want to see Bad Moon Rising instead of Frosty Mustache? It's probably better. I'll do it. Wow, he's letting this happen because he needs ran. No. Ah, oh, this, this game's not going well. So the bun is making like three extra now. It's disgusting. They get a laser base alpha. One time. So maybe this will be okay. Watch him cob cannon now. And kill both of these. Just cub here. I think two bad moon risings could be good in this day. Probably would be. It would be good if we get the infinity clone superpower again. That's the real combo. Yes, he has ramp to nothing. I'm so happy. <laughs> we don't even have to use these. Should I though for a more playable card? I think deadlying this one is really good. It means. Can't really make the good trade. We got more imps. Sorry, someone's calling me there. Grid of Imposter for Bad Moon Rising? I feel like in Bad Moon Rising comes a lot worse without the Imposter, though. Gives you all the little cards in it. <laughs> I have Facebook on my thing. My kids are calling me right now. Uh, like this. Maybe we can get, like, a good card to teleport in here. Uh, sports? Sports are fun. Uh, here comes Cobb Cannon. Oh, just Dragon? <laughs> no. Uh, I don't think we can deal with Dragon, guys. I don't think this is gonna work. <laughs> okay. Come on, laser base alpha. We need you right now. <laughs> See, we can't really play any of these. This is the problem. <laughs> We're gonna need to leap this eventually. That that deadly would have been good to have now, but I don't actually know what to do here, man. We play both of these here, one after the next. We have no answer. Nothing the next turn, so that's a good sign. Okay. 
Let's not commit this environment here. Alright, who knows? Maybe this will work. Watch him play Cornucopia now. Might as well commit that, right? Could you not have an answer, please? Pretty, please. Por favor. I need to just get past this dragon and then... It does seem like he has a... I don't know. He has a bunch of crap in his hand. I don't really know what's going on here. <laughs> Little buddy's so good there. Keeps dragon alive. That's why we need laser base alpha. Dragon called, exactly. Well, <laughs> why do I feel like I'm getting sniped and BM'd right now? There's no way those three cards are that unplayable. Come on. Maybe they're just all ramp, like, they're all like team up cards. What do I do? <laughs> I need to block. I don't know. I don't know what I need. There you go. Ice bore, that makes sense. I want to play PvD Heroes. This guy's just sitting here. Oh, I thought he was going to grab the dragon. So block phrase would be good? Nope. <laughs> nope. Imagine blocking. Uh, sure. We get a free teleport. We got laser base. Guys, this is amazing. We can laser base, and that's it. And burn a teleport. No, we can't even laser base! Let me play PvZ Heroes! Let me cook! Uh, <laughs> I'm getting trolled right here. <laughs> oh no. Ah, we're alive! No, we're not. Extremely unlucky to face a deck with dragon in it. Nine points of unluck. No matter how you how you shape it. Well, that was not a fun game. The first three games were fun. This was boring. Absolutely boring. I'm cutting it out of the video. I'll keep it in. Boring! Okay, here's Green Shadow. Way less boring hero than Rose. <laughs> Ramping to Dragon is disgusting, not gonna lie. There's really nothing HG has to, to like deal with that. I guess Pogo Mug. Was I supposed to add Bad Moon Rising? <laughs> Upper Gore. Okay, we got our laser base. Now everything's gonna be fine. Okay. Watch, he's gonna play, uh... He's gonna play the thing. He's gonna play Coffee Grounds. I could have gone for this plus Freeze if I was that confident he was actually playing Coffee Grounds, but... I'm good. Uh, so just Laser is pretty good here. There's also an option to go freeze so we can thinking cap next turn. In fact, freeze deadly into thinking cap is the play. What the heck? What is he? What are you running? So deadly. <laughs> it's like makeshift. It's like make your own. <laughs> make your own. Uh, what's it called? <laughs> Laser based alpha. Creative. Uh. Let's save that. <gasps> Guys, you got the, the cheese, you got the thing. Yoink. Give me another really cheap card to put in front of this. I don't know. Oh, yeah, perfect. Heck yeah. Wow, we got two of the best one drops in the whole freaking game. What the heck? Hey, it's a shame to even try to front these, though. Maybe I won't front them. 
I definitely want a thinking cap right now before it's too late. I think... I, I think the chances of getting one superpower that can either kill this or buff the cheese cutter, it's pretty likely. Between all the lightning bolts and the rock walls and the buffing superpowers. Oh, he's not buffing the repeater now. Oh, yes, he is. All right, come on, Smash Super. We need you again. <laughs> Even a lightning bolt here makes turns this into a good trade. Aha! <laughs> yeah, that's pretty damn good. That's pretty good. So it kills this, keeps the space time alive. This will still be a 4 3, but I don't care. We go here to keep this one alive. Hell yeah! Jeez. He does not draw a card from the dumb party tone. So that's awesome. Oh, another laser based alpha. This one's at a discount, though. That's cool. Block! <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm, I'm adding luck for that thinking cap. That was pretty clutch. That was really, really good. So it's gonna be you, you, whatever card we get here to goes right here. Come on. No, <laughs> except for that one. We really just got Valk? <laughs> it doesn't even work with the laser base. Screw it. I'm, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I have to tell you what I'm doing. What the hell? There's no point in leaping any of these. He draws two more cards. Wow. The Chad. I, I kind of want to like... I mean, these cards, these two cards are so good, there's no point in leaping them. Maybe I should just Valk and just leap the Valk. Alright, well... Let's play the more expensive one. And then we'll play this to actually get some teleports here. Alright, this is fine. We're taking three damage. It's okay. Should I just play my Valk here? We need some minions! Stop giving me tricks! I need a guy to play! <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> no! There goes our teleports. What are you gonna do? <laughs> what the heck am I even doing here right now? Okay, Valk's at six. Is that a big enough Valk? What am I gonna leap though? <laughs> I'm not gonna leap anything. It's what I'm gonna leap. I have to play something here. For the sake of playing a card, I'm just spamming six attack Valk. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bro, <laughs> chill. <laughs> the the Valk still wins this trade. I think I'm gonna like deadly this one. Give me a guy. Give me a dude. I don't need more tricks. <laughs> <I don't. laughs> okay, Valk is hitting phase for six now. We gave him another card. That's awesome. Maybe I'll leave the Valk next turn because it only has one health to make it survive. I need just a guy to leap. Can I just have just anything like a good, like a dude? I want a dude. Okay, that's a dude. Yes. I wonder if I should do this here. Because we can always like make it, leap it and then strike through. We can play both leaps and strike through here, which is awesome. <laughs> Valk still wins. The croc doesn't do anything about that. <laughs> That's guaranteed lethal. Uh, why don't we make this a little more <laughs> exciting? <laughs> oh no, sports of this. Come on, sports of this. Don't be like that. Ah, now it's double lethal. Wait, but that now it's like quadruple lethal. I love it. All right, guys. <laughs> 53 points a lot. I don't care. 53. We're like 5 and 1. I don't know. What does leap mean? It means evolutionary leap. That two cost card right down there. The one with all the plus signs on it. It makes a card cost one. It randomly transforms the one that costs one more. That's what leap is. All right. Aha. 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 This deck needs like 
Nem jó. Nem, nem, nem. Well, that's so fun. My only problem is, do I have to play around Chumzilla Superman? Ah, uh, I probably do. It saddens me. We're two, and then this is completely unprotected this turn. Yeah, well. It's okay, because we're conjuring here. Maybe I'll teleport this in, so it'll definitely get something next turn. And we have the environment to play to correct the trade here. So. Click P and then Hola Floor. That's how he's doing it. Oh, yeah, this dies. <laughs> Look what I got. Yo, dead. So I think we... Well, no, he can't have his chump anymore because he used Hola Floor. <laughs> Isn't that nice? So we'll just teleport this useless imp in front of something that has one health. And we will teleport this in to start the conjure train going. Chugga chugga choo choo. I think this is better, to be honest. I'll put it right here. I like conjuring more cards. It's just what I'm, it's just my thing. It's just the thing I'm into. Aha! <laughs> I can plant something here. That'll be fun. We'll do this, and we'll either deadly this one, or freeze. I think that's better. <clears throat> do you think there will ever be a new hero in this game? No. I don't. As a matter of fact. Is freeze just as good as deadly? I don't know, man. I mean, it basically is. Huh. Does this have a mustache? <gasps> it, oh, guys, we found a use for this imp. This is beautiful. So it's gonna be... More. Oh, another freeze. So it's gonna be these two, or...? Eh, we'll see what happens. It's definitely fast. We have teleportation zombie alive and well. We get to play reactively. Uh, as I was saying, uh, we're gonna thinking cap here. <laughs> and hope for the best. Oh. This evaporate is very high value. It keeps our two three alive and kills his ramp. So that's a great evaporate. We can like deadly in this next turn or something. Man, we're getting good thinking caps today. Bruv. Uh, preventing four damage, yeah. So, <laughs> it creates strike in this land. Basically, you know, like super brains this over, which is awesome. Oh my gosh, I got excavator. That's fun. I don't really want to give this one back to him though. How do we do this play? So we can go four. And then super brain super. I want to kill this first. So we can go four and then like a freeze. All right. So let's not super brain super quite yet. Let's do this. And now we have, we'll either like, we'll probably like frosty like this one. This conjures, this conjures two cards, which is crazy. We're going to be milled here. Um... So we could freeze this one. We can also just deadly. Freeze makes this conjure another card. We don't really need more cards at this point, though. <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna have a lot of mustaches here. <laughs> a lot, a lot. So this that this one makes two. Uh, only one because he blocked. All right. So we'll be slightly less milled. We're gonna be completely milled.
Ah, uh, there's that. Oh, we got a lot of stuff here. So we go excavator. Electrician super brains? I don't see which of the lanes though. The excavator would have to be first. Well, it could be excavator, electrician, and then the and then the environment. Alright, I guess that works. <laughs> you wanna do the four damage, you know? Four and four wins. This is a pretty good play. <laughs> Getting ready for impact. So what's up? And there's also a chance I'll just excavate lane four and kill that get that laser off the board. I mean, well, it's strike through anyway. Oh no, well. I think I'm gonna just do this. Kinda build again. We don't really have the super brains anymore. Do we? I mean, Super Brain Super could win. Well, we'll anyway win. We'll win with four and two. Yeah, there's no point in <laughs> I'll take the four damage. Because he rolls double threes, I'll get him down to two here. This should be lethal. Yes. Okay. Guys, they're up to 69 luck. Isn't this fun? This is just like a throwback to 20, I don't know, 2018, where we just... Picked an RNG this deck. We're winning a lot. I think we only lost that one game against the the Rose of the Dragon. So I think we're like six and one now. I don't know. Alright, we'll play we'll play one or two more games. Ah. This is the good old fun here. You know what? Just for you guys. Oh no, I have double space time. Uh, all right, I was gonna add Bad Moon Rising. We'll add Bad Moon Rising for the last game. I just have to remember. This this hand is too juicy <laughs> to dock out of this game here. I gotta save this in case it's dumb cap. Uh, yeah. Playing around shrinking. I'll probably end up playing both of these on ground lanes anyway. Nothing it can really do on two to punish space time. Turn three is a different story. This is looking awfully like Psycho Cat. So I think we teleport the space time. It's good enough that it doesn't get blocked because it's conjuring like a lot. And we can always use the environment. So we desire. Bra? Anyway, we're still doing this play. This goes here because of the environment. So this will be two less. Hopefully it's not like a one cost card here. Oh, I'll take Warlord. I'll take, I'll take turn three Warlord. That's pretty good. That's kind of awesome. So it's going to be this and environment, I guess. This can die. I, I got it. We can't take five damage here on turn four. It's too much. So that's awesome. And we still have the uh, answer to the... It's probably Cycle Cat, though. He's just played Puff Room in line with Pluridon. If they've done that little for the first three turns. Dude! Really? What the hell? Well, we can't do this. This dies and this turns into a Puff. The hell? He's running Witch Hazel? Witch Hazel against you Giganticus is actually not a bad card. But now he's gonna have this puff shroom here. We're gonna need something that can go in this laser. Can I get a one or a two here, please? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have a major problem. I guess I'll thinking cap, and maybe we'll get something I can help Witch Hazel here. Come on, Z Mac! <laughs> Come on, Z Mac! We need you one more time. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Uh, the good news is is that we can play like a three drop and try to laser here. If we get something cheaper, we can teleport. So it's got to be playing this dry. The teleports do cost one. So to play this in laser. Yeah, man. 
<laughs> it's kind of obvious we're going for laser base alpha right now. Pretty obvious. Really? Wait, we can't go for a laser anymore. <laughs> we have to cover this crap. <laughs> what the hell is this? What am I supposed to do here? And now it's just Cycle Cat. He's running Witch Hazel with Cycle Cat, which is ridiculous. No way. Well, we just have to dodge all the... We still have a pretty decent amount of health, all things considered. So what do I do here? Do I teleport and try to get a one drop? And then we'll cover it with this, I guess. It's a shot in the dark teleport. Did not get it. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Our hand is too expensive. Well, we will conjure a little mustache. Can I have a cheap card now? Really? This witch hazel preventing us from doing anything, though. It also gives him more Astro Shrew. But he's got a full board. I think we're okay here. What do we do here? I'm lost right now. I can't go after the Astro Shrew because of dumb witch hazel. <laughs> can't do anything. I can't really... I don't have a way to go after both. I guess priorities is I'm taking out the Witch Hazel. Because he can't really do anything with this Astro Shroom anyway. His board is full. Maybe we'll block and get Guy and kill this thing. We really have, like, many things we have to kill here. What is this? He's running Tricorn in Cycle Cat. What dimension is this? We're so dead, by the way. Well, now we... Uh, there's the block. Oh, that's a huge freeze because this thing has frenzy. So it's doing two overshoot. And then it's doing four more is six. And then four more makes 12. And then it's a seven. Holy moly. That is down to two. We just have to dodge like Admiral from popping off here. Oh, we're, we're in this game barely, barely, barely. What is going on right now? I don't know. Oh my god. I, I, don't, I don't even know what I'm doing here. I'm just playing something. Maybe from Barrel we can get like final mission and just trying to think of the possibilities here. What? No, 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 no. Not like this. We have eight health. We have eight health. He has very little board space is actually the one problem. Here he's drawing another card. This is gonna... Come on, roll this three here so we block all the damage. He rolled double ones for the win with no board space left. Are you kidding After all that, after all that, I think we had that guy. Oh, maybe he had a Lima and he wouldn't be exactly like a Lima Pluridon in hand be able to do anything or a Cosmic Bean. Without one of those two cards, we would have won that game. He rolled double ones for the win there. Come on, man! It's going in the fail count. The hell? Bruh. Come on, man. Oh, and Bad Moon Rise and Bad Moon. Last game, guys. This deck definitely needs. I'm playing as Captain Bustle anyway. Guys, this deck needs Bad Moon Rising. Clearly, that's what it needs. This deck needs more early game, is what it needs. I don't think the Mad Chemists are popping off. So instead, instead, we're going to go Bad Moon Rising. I run like three of these. And we're going to run three more early game. Cards. I feel like imp throwing imp would be good. <laughs> it always feels like we need more early game. Let's try like imp throwing imp. Do we even need the imposters? 
Alright, it's fine. Thank you, Tate. Tatel Sama. Welcome to the Prime Lord. Thank you so much. Where am I right now? Okay, here's the new deck list, guys. The final iteration after working on this deck, sweating over this deck tirelessly. We finally found the final form. It's a Bad Moon Rising deck. Yeah, the chemists were just too expensive. We weren't able to like develop them. So what are we looking for? We're hard mulliganing for like space time. I guess this is good against uh against the dude. Thank you, Taitel Sama. Just letting you know I've subbed after watching you for years, starting watching you in high school and you just turned 25. That's cool. Uh, you know, I've been going on eight years now. People find themselves in like very different stage of life. I have people who weren't even in high school started and they're graduating college now. Man, it's been a journey for real. Thank you for everything you do. Thank you so much, Taitel Sama. Thanks for stopping by the stream and showing your support. Showing your love. Heck yeah. That's what it's about. Alright, it's another king game. See, all of our luck is, is, is back. We had a bad moon rising. Cosmic scientists? Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> the key is to have a low curve. We need, like, Rapture that only conjures you ones and twos. So we got a... Dude, an imp dude. I think let's just go with this first and we'll do the king later. Hmm, mm, mm. pass, pass. <laughs> God damn. What are we gonna do? Should I just go for the king now? I think this is a beautiful day to king. Uh -huh. We're gonna ignore these cards. We're just gonna go king and amphibious land. And that's all we're doing. We'll get the knight and we'll deal with we'll deal with grass knuckles later. <laughs> right now we're playing solitaire. He can't deal five damage. No, not Galax! <laughs> I thought in the amphibious lane I'd be safe. Wow, both of them die. Great. Well, we basically lose this turn now because he's doing four, two. Here's one more. <laughs> Just like that. We're so done. We can't beat this too fast. This deck is too strong, man. What am I gonna do about you? I, I don't even know what to, what to freaking do right now. We'll use barrel barrels, no for the best. Fry, I see a lack of electric boogaloos in your stream. Well, you haven't been coming to the streams lately. I did electric boogaloo three streams ago. But yeah, it's not a hero I use a lot. He has limited beastly and... And crazy, it's not classes that there's a ton of synergy together. It does have loudmouth aerobics instructor though. That one I love. What did that guy do that turn, by the way? I'm very confused. I am so confused. Body gourd for the win. Is there anything we could actually get here from this two cost? Like, even final mission is not. We just lose. All right, guys, we're gonna play. We're, we're at a very big loss of, of luck right now. There's gotta be a way to make these decks better, you know? Like, more consistent. Should just be Teletons Conjure. What if we ran, like, a bunch of low-cost Conjure into, like, Blob as the finisher? Teleport Blob bonus attack? Alright, anyway, I'm not revamping the deck, but I'll bring this back another day because it's fun. Let's get one more win here. One more win. 
Then we'll be good to go. <laughs> She's been keeping King score, but <laughs> failed so hard. King's obviously a hard card to set up because they not only can answer the king, you know, which on turn four a lot of heroes can do, but they also can just answer your other minions on the board, and then the king doesn't do anything. It's just a four cost three five. They're just, bleh. you know, laser base is good. Oh, these imposters are just not. <laughs> I'm not doing it for us here. Hey, Fry, it's me, Fem Plant Boy. That's the person I just played against. GG! Yeah, I can't deal with, like, good grass knuckles decks. <sighs> Should I super brain super here? Or not, I mean, HG super. What if he has for Gorm units? See, the problem is, we'll have a free teleport, and then a card that also costs less. We don't just have a lot of great cards that work. Oh. Alright, maybe we'll do it the Nebula way now. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> let's end off the stream with a base. See, this deck needs Nebula. I don't know what this deck needs, to be perfectly honest. Let's see what happens here. We got two buried treasures. Obviously, it's the best card with Nebula. So here's the first one. We're gonna have a bunch of brains and hopefully we get a very big impactful legendary that we can teleport in cheaply here. Does that count? <laughs> Let's see what our other option is. Aha! There's no way we can play this here though, right? <laughs> it's not playable. <laughs> that would have been amazing. <laughs> Turn three guard feast. Even if we teleport and get a one drop, we still can't do it. Alright, so we'll do this. And we'll use laser base alpha. We have two in hand. Can you not grave bust this please one time? One time. One time only. This is really good because if he doesn't shamrock at this, it's just gonna be going crazy. It's so much damage being a 6-5 here. This was, by the way, that was turn three, just saying. Almost had turn three. Oh my gosh, Leaf. <laughs> he didn't have an answer. He's like, I'm not taking six damage every turn because you decided to be your gigantic kid. It's not happening, guys. <laughs> I guess that's the highlight in sure, right? All right, guys. All right. We need to bring that back with the buried treasures. That's the most fun. All right, the final score, just because of that game, is 100 luck to 99. We just, just barely got it. The answer is yes. We didn't do bets today. Hope you guys enjoyed. That was the All Out Conjure. Now, here's what you guys, you special YouTube people, and I will try to pay attention to your comments when I post this video. Do you want to see more decks like this we're just dicking around and having fun i mean we ended up winning at a six out of eight i think so i think we we're like six and two. Oh no we lost like a third game so maybe we're six and three anyway we had a winning record or would you like to see the more competitive decks or a mix of both i guess maybe we'll just mix these and i haven't really done the luck score the meme streams in a while and this is a really a nice fun thing to do every once in a while anyway guys i'll see you in the next one peace this is fry